We're still grieving from that tragic accident that claimed the life of a 15 year old high school student yesterday, Blunt County yesterday in Blunt County tonight. That community will honor that student at a football game and they will also honor a teacher who recently passed away after a battle with cancer. Our East Alabama reporter Reggie Kyle brings us the story live and on your side, Reggie. Sarah Jean, school, Blunt County school officials tell me it's going to take the community coming together as one to help heal after these two tragedies. Pain and heartache can only describe the feelings a family is experiencing after their 15 year old daughter was hit by a pickup truck yesterday morning on Highway 231 in St. Clair County while waiting for the school bus. Trying to love and care and, and work with these people just to you know, to help them through this hard time. Well, at this moment, uh, I don't think they've had a chance to wrap their minds around anything. Um, I know we've talked about funeral plans and, and talked about that, but outside of that, they've not, it's moment to moment. A member of a migrant community of workers from Florida, school officials say her death has impacted so many within the Blunt County community. From a school family to city leaders, their love and support will continue to be with this family. I think they're going to do a statement uh, recognizing the family of uh, this young lady who was killed yesterday morning and have a moment of silence following that statement uh, for thoughts and prayers for, for the child's family. And uh, so that's really what's going to be done prior to to kick off at Appalachian School tonight. Prior to the football game tonight, the school will also honor one of their own. Deborah Nolan was a third grade teacher who worked 36 years as an educator who recently died from leukemia last month. She was a beloved teacher there and served over 30 years, elementary third grade teacher and Deborah was well thought of in the community. And so they're doing what they call an orange out tonight in her honor fans wearing orange and it should be a very nice uh, gesture to support the family. Now Miss Nolan, two children will be at the football game tonight to help support and honor her their late mother. Uh, if you would like to donate to the family of the 15 year old student, please visit our WBRC news app with more information. Reggie Kyle, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side. A breaking news update.